three extra takbir in the second rakat just before the ruku, as you all be mashallah aware. So his salat is wajib, and of course, um, we'll go through the, uh, the guidelines. So inshallah, you make intention uh, that you're, uh, you'll be performing salat al Eid, Eid al Fitr, which is uh, wajib behind the Imam. And as I stated, uh, you do the takbir tahrima and then you do the three extra takbirs. After the takbir tahrima, you read your thana, subhanakallah, wa bihamdika, and then you do the three extra takbirs. After the first two, your hands are on the side, and after the third one, you will fold uh, as per usual. And then I'll recite the Surah Fatiha and the, another Surah. You go into sujood, uh, we'll sujood as per routine, and then uh, we will stand for the second rakah. Likewise, um, in the second rakah, we'll recite Surah Fatiha and read the Surah, and then, as I stated earlier again, we'll do the three extra takbirs. And then we'll uh, uh, complete the salah as per routine. And um, inshallah, after the salah, the khutbah is wajib to listen to. So inshallah, so we'll spend a few moments uh, with the khutbah. Just uh, as per the Imam's last request, there's a uh, encouragement, of course, is. It's a happy day, but also it's a day of uh, regret. Sometimes we may feel a bit regretful that the month of Ramadan has, has gone and we are obviously we, we, we couldn't take maximize our benefits from it. So inshallah we make intention that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of course accepts all our prayers, all our actions that we've done and all the you know in the last year, a very troublesome year of course as, as you are aware, those who have passed away. Allah forgive all our marhumeen, all our deceased and uh, we should make intention that this is the sunnah of the Prophet is that after in the month of Shaw, uh, Shawwal which is the uh, this month of uh, the month after Ramadan we should make intention to uh, fast, make a uh, fast six times, the six fast which is the sunnah. So I'll just go through very quickly the virtues. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said the one fasting in Ramadan and then fasting six, six days in Shawwal has been cleansed from sins as if he was born from his mother's womb. Likewise Sayyidina Abu Ayyub radiallahu anhu narrated the following statement of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam whoever keeps fast in Ramadan and keeps six fasts in Shawwal it is as if he has kept fast for his entire life. Sayyidina Sawban has narrated that the Prophet وسلم, stated the one fasting six days after Eid al Fitr has fasted the entire year because whoever brings one good deed will get ten rewards for it. So, inshallah, we should make intention myself and uh, all of us that, inshallah, we should uh, make intention to fast these extra six fasts in this month. Um, it's, it's recommended that it's, it's spread out through the month as opposed to one in one go. Uh, we could also, one suggest that one, the ulama state you could maybe fast on the Mondays, on the days of uh, the white days, the 13th, 14th, 15th, because that would be extra reward. You'll get that reward for Sunnah as well as this. Inshallah.